Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on hydrostatic forces on surfaces. So in this video, we are going to solve a problem about inclined plane surface submerged in liquid. So first, I will read what is the given problem. A rectangular sluice gate AB 2 meter wide and 3 meter long is hinged at A as shown in figure. It is kept closed by a weight fixed to the gate. The total weight of the gate and weight fixed to the gate is 3,43,350 Newton. Find the height of water H which will just cause the gate to open. The center of gravity of the weight and the gate is at G. So this was the given question. Now let us first understand what is the given diagram. Now if we observe this diagram here the height of this water from this base we will consider here as a H and we have to find out this height of water H so that this gate will just open. So this gate will just open here is the hinge so movement of this gate is about this hinge in this direction. So this point A is fixed and movement is in this forward and backward motion. Now if we observe the length as well as width of this gate is given that is 3 meter and 2 meter. This is the point A and the weight of the gate that is the self weight of the gate and weight attached to the gate is acting to this point G. So we know that weight always acts in vertically downward direction and it is through the center of gravity point that is G. So it is also given in the question that we have to consider through this point G the self weight of the gate as well as the weight fixed to the gate is acting through this point G in this downward direction. So we will say that this is the weight W that we have to show in the downward direction. Now here the distance in between this point A and point G that is the horizontal distance is given. So how to show that? So here this is distance is given 0.6 meter. So we have to make here one construction that means we will draw here one vertical line passing through this point A and one horizontal line passing through this point G. So here the point of intersection will be point E. So we can say that this distance G to E which is equal to 0.6 meter. Now this gate AB is in the contact with this water. So there is the force is getting applied by this water on this gate AB. So we have to calculate what is this total pressure or the total force getting applied by the water on the surface of the gate AB that is the F that we have to find out and this F that is the force F is in the perpendicular direction to this inclined gate AB and the point of application of total force that is the point P. So here we have to show that this is the point P and this is the force F that we have to show that. Now the question is that we have to find out the height of water H which will cause the gate to open. So how this uh, gate will be open because here the weight W is there that is the self weight as well as weight fixed to the gate which is acting in the downward direction that's why the gate will not open. But when we have to maintain this height H then the force F will be getting balanced to open this gate. So first we have to consider a height H which will cause the gate to open and that will we have to find out what is this force F when there is the height H of the water. So when we find out this force F that is getting applied by this water on this gate AB then it is acting in this vertical direction that is in this direction and this weight W is acting in this downward direction and there is the movement of the gate about this hinge at point A. So when we take the moments for this weight W as well as this force F about this hinge A then we can find out that is this weight W is getting balanced by the force F. So when this force F is getting increased then this gate will be just open. So when we balance this so how to balance this 
that is this is the point a this weight w multiplied by the perpendicular distance from this point a that is this distance e g so when we take the moment about this point a so this point a will be fixed and weight will be moving in this direction that is here this is the clockwise moment and if this force f this point a is fixed and if i move this force f in this direction with this perpendicular distance ap then there is the anti clockwise direction that means these are the opposite direction so we have to balance these moments that is w multiplied by ag which is equal to this force f multiplied by this distance ap that's why we have to first find out what is this distance eg that is given here and then first we will calculate this force f and then we will calculate what is the perpendicular distance from this point a to p and then we will get the answer for this force f that will balance this weight w at particular height h and above that h if the water level is getting increased then this f will also getting increased and that will cause the gate to just open so let us move for the calculation to calculate this force f we have the formula f is equal to rho a g h bar so we will first find out what is this h bar so h bar is the vertical distance from the center of gravity point to the free surface of the liquid so how to find out this h bar so if we observe this diagram h bar is equal to this whole distance h minus this distance ed so this ed how we can define so if we observe this length ad that is ad minus ae which is equal to ed so how we can find out this ad so if we observe this triangle ade then sin of 45 is equal to ad by ab so this ab is known that is this is the length of the gate that is 3 meter and then here is the angle that is 45 that is also known so we can find out this ad and then how to find out this ae so if we observe here tan of theta is equal to ae by eg because here this is the horizontal line and this is also the horizontal line and this is the same inclined line so this angle that we can say this is also equal to 45 degree now this eg distance is known that is given and therefore tan of theta is equal to this ae by eg so this tan 45 is equal to ae by eg that is 0.6 so we can calculate this ae so we can say that h bar is equal to h minus what is this ad ad means 3 sin 45 this distance is 3 sin 45 minus ae means 0.6 because this distance is 0.6 tan of 45 so when we calculate this we will get h bar is equal to h minus 1.521 so this is the value of h bar in terms of h now f is equal to rho a g h bar so the rho that is the density of water 1000 then a that is the area so area is 3 meter by 2 meter that is 3 into 2 6 meter square then g 9.81 and h bar we have to write this value in terms of h so when we calculate this we will get here 58860 into h minus 1.521 newton so this is the value for f now again we will find out what is the distance of this point of application that is point p point of application of this total force that is point p from the free surface of water so here we have to show this this is the vertical distance h dash so we have again formula to calculate this that is ig sin square theta by a h bar plus h bar so what is this ig that is the moment of inertia pass about the axis passing through center of gravity so here the suffix g is used because the axis is passing through the center of gravity point so again for this ig we have formula because the gate is in the rectangular shape bd cube by 12 that is 2 into 3 cube by 12 which is equal to 4.5 meter raised to 4 
so h dash we can easily calculate because sin square theta that means sin square 45 a area 6 meter square and h bar we have to take this h minus 1.521 so when we calculate this we will get the answer and that is 0 0.375 divided by h minus 1.521 plus h minus 1.521 now we will take the moment about this point a so here is the weight w that is in the downward direction w multiplied by this eg is the perpendicular distance from this point a so w multiplied by eg that is in this clockwise direction which is equal to this force f multiplied by this perpendicular distance ap so this is the formula so if we put the value so what is this W that is given in the question? So we have to put then EG that is also given 0 0.6. Then this F force F that we have calculated. So this calculation of this force F in terms of H that we have to write as it is. Now what about this distance AP? So for this distance AP again we will make here one triangle. That is we will make here one horizontal line passing through this point P and the intersection with this line ad we will say here point k now if we consider this triangle a p k then here this is the horizontal line and this is the same inclined line so this is also the angle 45 degree so if we consider here sine of 45 is equal to this a k by a p so what is this a p so a p is equal to a k by sine of 45 so again we have to put here this value now if we observe here this is the equation in terms of h as well as this ak now this ak this vertical distance that is also unknown so we will write this formula in terms of ak so ak is equal to we will shift all the terms to the right hand left hand side so ak is equal to we have to take this is in the denominator that is we have to shift it in the numerator and this is in the numerator so we have to shift this term in the denominator so when we simplify this we will get the answer a k is equal to 0 0.3535 into 7 divided by h minus 1.521 so this is the formula for the a k now how we can define this distance a k in other way so when we observe this a k is equal to this h dash minus ac now if we observe this h dash that we have already calculated so this h dash is from the distance of free surface of water to this point p so this h dash minus ac so this is the point c and this is the top point of the gate so h dash minus ac which is equal to ak so h dash that is also known so we can put here the value 0 0.375 divided by h minus 1.521 plus h minus 1.521 so this is the whole value is for h dash and minus ac so here we have to take here this is the minus ac so how we can define this ac so now this is the ac distance so if we observe this whole line then ac is equal to this cd minus ad now it is easy to find out this cd minus ad now here c to d is the distance of this h that we have considered here that is this is the level of the water from the bottom so h minus now what is ad so here ad to find out this ad we will consider this triangle a b d so how to find out this ad so sine of 45 is equal to ad by ab so ab is known that is 3 meter so again ad means ab sin 45 which is equal to 3 sin 45 so we have to put the value h minus 3 sin 45 which is equal to h minus 2.121 so this is the value of ac in terms of h we have to put here so when we put this value we will get the equation for this ak in terms of h and again we will simplify this so if we simplify this remember that here h minus 1.521 minus so in the bracket we have to put this value that is h minus 2.121 so when we simplify this we will remove this bracket so what is happening here when we remove this minus sign will be 
here this plus h will become minus and here it will become plus so when we remove this sign then we will get this equation so this h minus h is getting cancelled and this minus 1.521 plus 2.121 that will be 0 0.6 and this term will remain same so this is the second equation for a k in terms of h so if we observe this equation number one and equation number two left hand side is same that is a k so we have to equate this right hand side so when we equate this right hand side we can find out the value of h and h is equal to 5.02 meter so what is this value of h when these both the forces are getting balanced then we will get the level of water h so when above this level that is above the 5.02 meter if the level of water is getting increased then what is happening this force f is also getting increased in this direction and that's why the gate will be just about to open because of this force f